Hey, this is Corey for Patriots Lament, and I want to show you some of the um, uh, web browser add-ons that I use for getting around YouTube's um, mobile app and their uh, YouTube Red subscription. So, as I'm sure we all know from YouTube's ads on their on their platforms, that uh, YouTube Red is available, and it allows you to download videos so that you can watch them offline. It allows you to um, watch the videos or listen to the videos with the device screen off or if you're in another app, uh, background play. And it allows you to watch videos without any ads on on any of, as long as you're logged in. Um, so I don't have the YouTube app on my phone and I use uh, Firefox mobile browser which is available for Android and iOS and I'll do the demo on um, on my Android tablet so we'll connect to that okay so first we're just gonna go to regular uh, Google Chrome um, and we have on the right side, there's a bunch of suggested videos that are generated by algorithms to get you to click on stuff. And then um, usually there's an ad before a video plays. And if you're playing the video, so we can hear the video playing, then we go to another tab and it stops immediately. Same thing if we go to the home screen. Uh, it turns it turns off the video. So I'm going to open Firefox now and this is a list of the add-ons that I have installed on my tablet and if I go to the same video uh, we'll notice that on the right side all those recommended videos are gone as well as if we go to the YouTube homepage um, the tiles load and then they um, eventually they disappear and, and you never you never get the, um, the auto-generated suggestions. So come to YouTube, use the search, find what you're looking for, and, uh, and that's good. So with the video playing, um, Corey we're going to this go to another by, um, tab, uh, and the, the, the video keeps playing in the background. Same thing if we go to the home screen. And uh, if we turn the tablet off, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the link in the live chat right now. And video keeps playing. His, the point of his talk is so. Here are the add-ons, and I'll put the links to all of these in the um, video description. There is uh, remove YouTube recommendation recommended videos comments. I found it actually doesn't work for the comments. I think they need to update it. Um, but it works for everything else, so you get the, the clean YouTube look. Also, this works on the uh, recommended videos at the end. So when your video finishes, you get that uh, list of, or that tile list of new videos to watch in the player. That goes away as well. Ublock Origin blocks the ads at the beginning of the, the video, and it's also a really good general purpose ad blocker for all the sites that you visit on your, on your phone. And uh, finally, uh, YouTube background play fix. It it sends uh, it sends a message. I think it works um, in, inside your browser. There's a thing that says, um, "Hey, um, this is what this is the tab that is active." Or it kind of gives the state of the phone. So if your screen's off, it it says, "Hey, um, screen's off." So this just forces it to always say that the tab that's playing is in um, in focus and being watched um, so the the uh, web page never gets a uh, signal to turn the video off so anyways uh, next we'll look at how to download videos onto your uh, computer so that you can make archives or um, if you want to then transfer those uh, videos to your phone um, by a USB or network, um, there'll be a future video on that. Okay, so for the next part, we're going to look at how to download videos uh, straight to your computer uh, so you can 
have them saved and uh, view them at any later time. So the program I use is called 4K Video Downloader and it has a free and a paid version. Uh, paid version is a one-time fee, perpetual license. Um, and so you just hit uh, download on here and it's, it's a pretty uh, light program. It downloads pretty quick. Um, so once you have that, you get an interface that looks like this with just a couple buttons. So we can go to YouTube and pick a video and you just click on it, hit copy link location, or if you're on the video, you can copy the URL. And uh, we'll talk about smart mode in a minute. But you just hit paste link and it um, looks the video up, downloads the attributes about it, checks how big it is, and um, it will only download the video, the name, and subtitles if you've selected that you want subtitles downloaded. It will not download any other information like the date of publish, the video description, uh, or the comments or anything like that. And I've emailed 4K Video Downloader and they said that they're aware of that, but they're not, um, they're not really working on that as a feature. So uh, it gives you options to download the video or extract the audio. So you can get mp3s out the mp3s take up less room on your hard disk but um, i i believe that it downloads the video and and then strips the audio out so if you're on a limited connection it will still use um, as much bandwidth as the um, the video so you pick a pick a resolution uh, if you want subtitles you can try to grab those and then um, pick a directory and then hit download and it'll it'll go and start doing that. Uh, smart mode has pretty much all the same stuff except if you have a series of videos it will just um, it will assume all the same parameters for all the videos that you put in. So you check the box hit OK and here I'm going to select the, um, the entire channel and we'll paste that channel in and if you are on a free version, I think it limits you to 25 videos per playlist or per channel. Um, and otherwise it'll download, it'll look up and download the entire uh, collection from that channel or, or a playlist. And if you're downloading a bunch of videos, um, YouTube servers can take notice of that. Also, it'll, it'll slow your uh, internet down. Um, so you can say, how many videos you want to download at once and you can also set a connection speed limit uh, so if you want a video really quick you can just hit unlimited and it'll download that one um, if you're not concerned about how long um, the downloads take and you're just doing it to have a, an archive or, or a backup of videos um, you can set some low value and you're also less likely to get um, get flagged for downloading too, too much too fast. And I have gotten little warnings on the web browser um, when I um, have been running this tool on the network. Uh, so that's it for, um, for the downloading. Once the files are saved, they will show up in, um, in a folder and um, then you just copy those videos and you can move them to your uh, cell phone if you're plugged in on USB. And um, if you're interested in how to do direct to um, direct to phone downloads, uh, I'm sure there's lots of other guides, but uh, I can look that up as well and we can put one on this channel. Um, any, any other questions, please put in the comments. Thank you.